All right, hello everyone. Welcome to this video. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to uh, change and convert bat files to exe files if you want to troll your friends with the virus codes that I provided earlier. Uh, so anyway, um, I'm sorry I've been AFK for a while, but uh, you know, I've had some real life stuff going on, but I should be back for a little bit now and uh, I'm making a new video, a new hacking tutorial how to uh, rat someone's computer. So basically what a rat is, for those of you who, that, who don't know, uh, a rat is basically a remote access tool. That's what it stands for. And it's a, way, um, it's a way of getting into someone's computer and basically operating it. You're literally hacking into computer, uh, and into their computer now. So for all of you guys who are saying, oh, your virus code is not really hacking, or like your website DDoSing, or your website DOSing, it's not even hacking. Well, this is. Um, you're gonna get in like that the rat will give you access to the uh, to the victim's computer full access You can the computer is basically yours. You can access his webcam his audio You can remove files delete files upload files to his desktop upload files and everything delete any of his files open up his task manager cut kill tasks you can uh, open up his command prompt and do some stuff on, on uh, uh, You know just like shut down his computer from command prompt do whatever you want uh, You will you will bas you'll basically own the victim's computer um, that is, of course, if he downloads the file and double clicks on it. The good thing about that file is that he doesn't even have to, like, press allow or anything. It's just if he double clicks on it, he's screwed. So, you know, that, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good rat. And, uh, more on that in the, in the upcoming video. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, anyway, back onto this video. So, if you have a bat file and then your friends are too smart for you, so hang on, I'm just gonna create a bat file real quick here. Just some, something really simple, uh, uh, hang on, what is it? I... Okay, this is just a simple bat file. Um... Oh my, I, I'm i dumb. <laughs> my bad. I'm kind of uh, stressed because this squeaky chair is really annoying me. I hope you I hope you don't hear it through the uh, microphone. If you do, uh, my apologies. I'm trying to get a new one here. Um, all right, there we go. Now it's a bat file. So I have it right here. It's a bat file. Uh, we can double click on it. See that it does open up command prompt. Go through command prompt and then open up uh, Google here, Internet Explorer, because that's what I had uh, as the code here. The problem is that a lot of people, a lot of new hippies, uh, think they're all pro at computers, and what they do is they right-click on a file to open it, because they're idiots. If they right-click on it as well, they can also click edit, and then they can see your code. Oh, you're trying to fuck me, you're, you're, you're trying to, uh, have virus code me. Oh, shit. Anyway, um, we can get around that very simply. So what you're going to do is you're going to go go to Google, uh, click on the link in the description, and then that will be uh, a little bit faster for you. But you can just search this up as well yourself. Uh, do uh, bat2exe, and that's it. Um, there, the first link will be, there we go, the first link, uh, file hippo, um, this is the converter that I use. Uh, so basically what you want to do is you want to click on download the latest version here. It should be 802 kilobytes. So once you click on that, your download should should start and it should download fairly quickly. Um, I just want to elaborate more while this is downloading. Elaborate more on on the rat, which uh, the rat file. Oh, there we go. It's already done. Anyway, the rat file is uh, it's not my creation. It's someone else's, but it like it does work and it's very very strong because the the other guy doesn't even have to click accept or anything. He just has to download the file from you, double click on it, and and it's like a bat file pretty much his computer is infected and he's effed from that point on. Anyway, once you download it, you can uh, go ahead and open that. Um, click on I agree with the above terms and conditions and then install it wherever you want. I already installed it, so this might give me some errors or it's just going to overwrite it. So yeah, there we go. Um, so there we go. We are right here. This just says application is installed. They give you some crap. Screw that. Anyway, once you have the actual program here, go ahead and grab your grab your bat file and then and then uh, look at the source code of the bat file or the code of the bat file which you uh, just created. Um, you can right click on that and click on edit and then there you go. You have the, you have your code. Uh, this converter works very well because you don't even have to con you don't even have to, you don't even have to do it to a bat file. You can just do your code in here and then convert it to an exe. So 
uh, what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste your code into here. They already add an at echo off for you at the beginning, so you don't need to uh, do that in your code. Um, you, if you have it in your code, then just take it out. Anyway, once you have that, you can also uh, add an icon. So um, I'll show you how to do that now. Once you have your code in here, all your codes in here, you can have blah, blah, blah. Uh, I, want, I want mine to work so I can show you, so I'll just keep it as that. Um, this is just very simple, very fast, you know, it's not a virus, it's just some garbage, but you can, you can do any virus codes you want. Once you have all your virus codes in here, you can click on File, Build EXE. The hotkey for that is Control B. Um, anyway, once you're here, click on the Windows, uh, Windows ones. Uh, 8.1 also stands for Windows 10. So, um, don't worry if uh, Windows 10 is not on here. This works from, basically, what, what this is saying is that it works from any Windows from 2000 uh, on. So, as long as the person's not using Windows 95, you're fine. Um, you can, oh yeah, and another neat thing about this is you can actually password protect your uh, your uh, file here. So, I'm, I'm just going to password protect mine. It'll be 123, and that will be my password. Uh, just so I show you that it does work, the password protection thing. Um, so, that's pretty cool as well. Anyway, uh, to now on, moving on to the icon portion of this, how does how to actually make an icon? So let's say that I want to I want someone to think that my virus is actually a GTA 5 installer. Uh, pretty typical, right? Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this website. Um, I found this very cool website that actually has a very large variety of icons. If you want, you can just look for the icon itself just by going like GTA 5. Uh, icon and there you go. Uh, you should find a website and then you can download the icon from there But I actually found a very good uh, very good um, Website here. Uh, I forgot what it's called. I think ICO files. There we go. Uh, I Looked up for I looked up ICO files and there we go this website ICO files icons icon archive This has a great selection of icons to choose from here um, It's very good. It has all the typical office stuff and uh, if you want you can uh, search up your ICO files directly in here so if I want something to do with like money scams or like some payment uh, option and it's actually like a virus, here we go. We can use some money, uh, like a, like a, a like one tap wallet. Oh, th th this is a very good icon to use for like a, a wallet scam. Here we go, uh, and and all of that. So it has a very large variety, including GTA 5. So anyway, um, once you decide what icon you want to use, uh, I want to use this one. Click on it. And then make sure to download the ICO file. So over here, click on download ICO. This is just downloading a picture file of it. And this is some other crap that I have no idea what it means because I'm bad at computers. So anyway, click on download ICO. There we go. Once that is downloaded, uh, it should be, it, uh, the automatically downloads places in your downloads folder. So once that is downloaded, you can exit out of that and click on select icon. Then go to your downloads folder or wherever you downloaded the icon you selected and there we go we have it right here so just open up the ICO file and there you go you have the icon once you are satisfied with the passwords if, if you decide to choose a password and with the icon uh, you can uh, build the exe and that will create the exe virus uh, the exe file of your virus so I want to name my GTA 5 installer uh, exe. There we go. Look at that. Look how pretty that looks. So <laughs> it automatically ma makes it run as an as administrator, so that your viruses will in fact work. So that's pretty. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. Um, anyway, just to show you that the, that this uh, that this converter does work, I'm gonna double click on this, open up the GTA 5 installer, which is just my start Internet Explorer here. See, password protected. One, two, three. Enter. And boom, we are in. So as you can see, <laughs> I'd never open Internet Explorer. Uh, I don't know why MSN is the uh, home page, but that was not a nice site to see. Um, anyway, as you can see, it does work, and it's pretty cool how uh, how the password uh, as well is displayed over here. So some next level hacking thing for you for all you folks out there. Um, anyway, this is how to trick your friends. Uh, if your friends are clever enough to right click on bat, on bat files and click edit before before they open it, they will not be able to do that with this exe file. Anyway, thank you for watching and uh, and I shall see you again next time in my rat tutorial.